every episode. She will fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, and then Huck saves the day, and they're like, Olivia Pope, the best. No, terrible, worst main character in history. Hey guys, I'm Jack O'Shea. I'm Michaela Pascal. And this is Rank vs. Rank, the show where we each rank our top five favorite things about an exciting topic, and then you tell us who made the best list. Today, Michaela, we're going to be ranking our top five worst main characters in TV history. The one that's like, I love this show. And you're ruining it for me. I wish this character wasn't in it, and it just so happens that this character is the main focal point of the show. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, Boo. tomatoes. We love the show, we hate you. That's the emotion. Yeah. Who is your number five? My number five is actually Tori Vega from Victorious, the oh, Nickelodeon show. So your oh, doppelganger. No, yeah, my doppelganger, which sucks. She was so annoying in the show that people in real life actually started to dislike Victoria Justice a little bit. People were like memeing her for being like a pick me girl in a way. She was kind of mean to like some of her friends in the way of like she stole one of their boyfriends and dated another one of someone else's boyfriends. This like, is in the show. Yeah. Kiss me. Let's do it. My number five was also not on the list. It's Will Schuster in Glee. I was gonna say the internet does like a joke now where if he's in something you post, you put a trigger warning. Yeah. You put trigger warning on the Morrison, and I think that's a really funny internet joke. That show doesn't make any sense. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> they're singing amazingly. They got a football player and some cheerleaders, and they're still supposed to be. Yeah, losers? they have like cool kids. You know what's another thing that I really I always hated was like, all of a sudden, he's singing with them? Yeah, very weird. Why are you singing this like, I'm bringing sexy back song? There's just something about him that just makes me uncomfortable whenever I watch that show. It's like, stop making this stop about the teacher. I'm gonna pay you back off of that. For my number four, Rachel Berry from Glee. She's kind of insufferable. Well, she's supposed to be at the beginning. She's like yeah. a theater kid who's like, I should have the shot yeah. to do this. This is my territory. I'm the star. But like, it really goes from her being like, I'm a gung-ho, talented girl to like, I'm really entitled. He gave Hank Saunders the solo I deserved. I am not homophobic. In fact, I have two gay dads. The pilot of the show was literally, okay, you got Finn is the football player mm -hmm. who he's not gonna join Glee because I'm a football player. I don't do- I don't do that, I don't sing. Singing clubs. At the end of the first episode, he learns his lesson and he's a new character. Yeah. And he's like, oh no, these are actually cool people and this is a, a fun thing to do and mm -hmm. I'm gonna be myself. Yeah. She never learns her lesson. No, she's terrible to everyone, the whole yeah. show. Like, she is a mean girl. Yeah. Also, theater kids, it's a me, me, me mm -hmm. thing. They are kind of a group that are like, we're the nerds, and it's like, no, really. I think no. you guys just want to feel like you're the nerds to be like, I went through the struggle. Okay, so my number four is rankers number five, Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. That's my number three. He's just so by far the weakest of the characters. So by far the weakest of the characters. Yeah, this guy's creating problems for himself. Yeah. That's really all it is. It's like he is constantly just making issues for himself. He yeah. keeps getting dumped and it's like, I get it. If it wasn't called How I Met Your Mother, if the plot of the show wasn't that he meets someone, that mm -hmm. I think that they may have pushed him to the side or even removed that character. They were going for the everyman, right. but like made him too bland. He yeah. just feels so average. Like you never really see him do his job. Isn't he an He's architect? He's an architect. There are not that many architects. I've never met an architect in my life. Ed Mosby, sex architect. <laughs> my number three was not on the regular list. Meredith Grey. Ray's mm. Anatomy. She's fine and uh, Ellen Pompeo's great. She's yeah. a great actress. It's just that there are so many other richer, better characters yeah. surrounding her. Christina Yang should be the main character of the show. Yeah. Meredith Grace just kind of not as interesting. Uh, yeah. I'm almost news fest over here. She's just not the strongest part of the show, but yeah. because it's called Grey's Anatomy, she has to be there. That being said, she isn't I do say she's not a bad character. It's similar to Ted Mosby where it's like don't make them too bland. bland, which she's not nearly as bland as Ted Mosby. Yeah. He is literally like a bland bagel, untoasted. My number two is Rankers number 15, Jim Halpert. That's a good one. As huge Office fans, yeah. I have to say that only became a good one to me on my 98th rewatch. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. He purposefully leaned away and let you fall. He just kind of bullies everyone. Like he's yeah. really condescending to everyone. It's like, yeah, Michael it, Scott's always kind of like having fun or whatever and he's always like, it's like, dude, if that was my boss, I'd be having a riot at work. 
Like, he's constantly picking on Dwight, who, by the way, runs laps in success around the gym. Yeah. He has a farm. He's the better salesman. He yeah. makes more money at that job, and he manages a farm. But Jim doesn't like him because he's lame and different. Because he's a little weird, and it's like, and yeah. he, just, he picks on him the whole time. Just re-watching, especially the early seasons, the amount he rolls his eyes. Yeah. You're a paper salesman. What, are you too good for this place? Like. Yeah, it just kind of gives me, like, the vibe that, like, his dad got him this job, and he just kind of stayed there. People are always like, I'm looking for the, like, gym to my him, and I'm like, I wouldn't date him. No. He's picking on people. And I don't think I would date Pam. She's boring as sh yeah. My number two is who I think your number one is. It's Susan Meyer from Desperate Housewives. We've talked about her on this show before. We've brought her up on this show several times. First season of Desperate Housewives. She's the klutzy one. She, she gets herself into awkward scenarios. Yeah. Susan's trying to get her footing in the first season of Desperate Housewives. She's yeah. a single mom now. Like, mm -hmm. she's trying to figure it out. So you're like, you kind of get what she's like a little disheveled, not making the best decisions. But she does not grow at all. Susan's always the victim, even, even though all the other wives have so much more going on in their lives. That's it. Susan is always the victim. Yeah. Even though all the other women who are also victims, it happens to them. She is she why. She creates her problem. They always had five really good plot lines going. Mm -hmm. And Susan's yeah. <laughs> stupid ass plot line. And guess which one half the episode was dedicated to? Susan. Susan's stupid ass plot line. Renee, this is Susan's moment. Yeah. Oh, you think your boyfriend might have cheated? Well, Bree's husband died. Can you guess what my, my number one is? Is it Olivia Pope? It's Olivia Pope from Scandal. <laughs> I do like the show. Here's the plot of Scandal. Olivia Pope is a fixer in DC politics. She's the best. Everyone's afraid of when Olivia Pope comes in, you wanna like her, she gets done. When you walk through these gates, things start happening. They say that, they repeat basically that mantra six times an episode for the entire series. <laughs> it's Olivia Pope. <laughs> what do you expect to happen? Olivia Pope. She never once gets anything done. My favorite part, and the part where we kind of stopped watching Scandal because I think you got tired of me laughing, it's like in season two, somebody's like, wait, you saw Olivia crying? Olivia Pope doesn't cry. And it's like, have you been watching the show? She, she cries, cries every single every episode. episode. <laughs> the first episode, she does her little Carrie Washington cry thing, which is very good, yeah. but overdone, my God. She's a fixer? Guess what problems she's fixing? The ones she created. The best thing that you could do for national security in that show is kill her. She's f***ing the president. Her dad's the head of like the dark CIA. Her mom's a terrorist. Her mom's a terrorist. Every episode, she will f*** up, f*** up, f*** up, and then Huck saves the day, and they're like, Olivia Pope, the best. No, terrible, worst main character in history. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Those were, in our opinion, the worst main characters in TV history. Do you miss any of your least favorite main characters? Let us know in the comments, or better yet, head over to ranker.com, hit up that list, add your least favorite main characters to the list, and vote your least favorites to the top. And as always, let us know which one of us you think are the best list. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Hi, yeah, yeah. guys. Yeah.